Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Modern. Today we're looking at Jeskai Ascendancy. Jeskai Ascendancy is a combo deck that looks to use mana dorks in combination with Jeskai Ascendancy and cheap spells to generate boatloads of mana and pump its creatures to lethal power. Jeskai Ascendancy has two abilities that each trigger from casting non-creature spells. One, it untaps your creatures and gives them plus one plus one, and two, you can draw a card and discard a card. You can use mana dorks in combination with cantrips, spells that only cost one mana and replace themselves, to cycle through your deck using Ascendancy to loot away dead cards and lands while remaining card neutral and growing your creatures to enormous power. If you have multiple mana dorks, you can float mana with one of them since Ascendancy untaps all your creatures. Fate Stitcher can be discarded to Ascendancy and unearthed from your graveyard to untap lands, doing its best impression of a mana dork. Eventually, you can either attack for lethal damage or, if you have multiple dorks in play, generate a huge amount of mana and win with something like Expansion Explosion. The deck 100% needs to find Jeskai Ascendancy and cannot win otherwise. To that end, it plays Glittering Wish to retrieve the fourth copy from your sideboard along with many other spells. More on the sideboard later. Besides cantrips and creatures, the deck also plays a few protective cards for combo turns such as Three Fairy and Silence. Other notable cards are Underworld Breach, which lets you rebuy already used spells or generate card advantage if you have sufficient mana, and Retraction Helix, which can be used to bounce cards like Abundant Growth or EE to continuously trigger Ascendancy. The deck runs Gigantha as a companion, more so just because it can, rather than it being particularly useful. Another way to build the deck is as a Jeskai Control Shell, eschewing green and only having Fate Stitcher as the combo piece. The benefit is having a more controlling game plan, better answers, and additional lines to victory such as Snapcaster Mage. The downside is being a lot slower and significantly less consistent. Sideboarding Nearly every card in the deck is for the combo and so you cannot cut them, especially Ascendancy, Wish, and Fate Stitcher. However, you can shave on some cards. The sideboard is a mix of answers, protection, and card advantage. All multicolor cards should remain in the sideboard as glittering Wish targets. You want access to a broad set of different effects with Wish. Abrupt Decay or a similar card for removal. Expressive Iteration or similar for card advantage and to continue chaining Ascendancy triggers during combo turns. Aerith lets you keep everything you draw with Ascendancy's looting during the combo turn. Hate cards like Lavinia for specific matchups. Teferi for protection. An Expansion Explosion or a similar card as a win condition. How to beat it. Mono dorks are susceptible to removal and normally can't be activated immediately. Fate Stitcher can untap lands immediately and Rift Sower has haste once it unsuspends. Sylvan Karyatid has hexproof though it also has defender and so can't attack. Anything that kills ascendancy or stops multiple spells from being cast interferes with the combo. The deck is also somewhat reliant on its graveyard for Fate Stitcher so grave hate can be effective. The deck's biggest problem is its reliance on Jeskai Ascendancy and inability to consistently have it within the first three turns. Glittering Wish helps, but is mana-intensive. Once the combo is set up, the next biggest hurdle is having enough card draw to keep the chain going without fizzling. Tips and Tricks Cerulean Wisps and Monomorphos are mana-positive in combination with Ascendancy and Mana Dorks. Make sure to float mana with your Dorks before Wisps resolves. If you're running mana value 1 dorks like Birds of Paradise, you can potentially win as early as turn 2 by casting Ascendancy and triggering it with a 0 mana spell like EE. With the combo set up, Retraction Helix can bounce Abundant Growth over and over to draw cards or EE for infinite mana. If your opponent has blockers or you're worried about them responding in combat, Fate Stitcher can tap down creatures and lands. If you have the combo but are very low on cards, it could be more worthwhile to set up for next turn rather than continuing and potentially fizzling out, although situations vary. If you're ever in a position where you need to trigger Ascendancy and the only card you have is a removal spell that will kill your only mana dork, you can chain triggers for as long as you have instant speed spells to cast before the removal resolves. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Jeskai Ascendancy. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.